Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda is awesome 97 here. I haven't posted in a while, but that's because school started, summer ended for me, and I was just doing so much trying to get back on track. But today I have Sophia here with me to do some gymnastics today. So a lot of you guys were mentioning to me at the studio or if you see me in public, you're like, oh my goodness, guys, who's that girl on your Instagram? She's so cute, she's so funny. Can you please do a YouTube video? with her so here i am doing the video and if you haven't clicked that subscribe button below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram at amanda's awesome 97 so let's see what kind of gymnastics we're going to do today is going to show you this stretch is really good if you're working on your shoulder or back flexibility it's called a seal stretch going into fishbowl and then as well you can have a teacher or um, a partner or anyone to help you to do um i don't know what it's called i just call these break your backs like give me your hands and i'm gonna break your back you know the stretch that i do with you guys yeah so it's basically like you lay down and then i and you can eat. let's just show them and then this is how you do it you grab your hands then you arch all the way back some people are just naturally flexible and they're able to grab their ankles. However, I don't think me and Sophia, we're not on that level yet. No. But show them your, your cat stretch. So with cat stretch, you want to put your tushy up, chest down, and you want your arms straight only because you want the person cracking your back to have a good, um, to well, you want their hands to be sturdy to crack your back correctly. Because if your back is twisted, or you could come out of it, Sophia. If your back is twisted, or if you're not in the right position like this, and the person tries to crack your back, crack your back, you will get hurt because your spine is not aligned to where it's needed in order to crack your back. Okay, Sophia, can you show everyone your fishbowl? So basically, you go into seal, you arch back, and you put your. Well, this is what a fishbowl looks like on Sophia, as you can see. Sorry for turning the camera. So this is what a fishbowl looks like. As you can see, Sophia can touch her head, which is pretty cool because not many people can do that. I've been doing gymnastics for a long time and I cannot do that. Okay, now we're gonna show us how Coach Amanda does it. So which one you want me to do first? So first, we're gonna do cat stretch. I don't think my back's gonna crack. Which is when you put your butt up and you stretch your arms all the way down. Pretty much like a cat. Like cat, like a cat, so that's why it's called cat stretch. All right, next trick. Now we're gonna do a seal. A seal is when you lay down and you arch your head up and then you try to put your chest up. And then sometimes you can lay down Put your hands down and people can stretch your back uh, to make it crack like this. I don't think you can grab my arms. I think I'm too heavy. <laughs> oh my god. Then you arch your <laughs> all the way back. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, oh my god! Bye bye! So we're back guys after Sophia broke my back a little bit and I died <laughs> for a few seconds. <laughs> um yeah my back flexibility has decreased over the years if you guys know me for quite some time or if you've been following my instagram since day one you would know that i was super flexible almost as flexible as sophia dossie but literally i just stopped doing gymnastics for like a year and Which sophie dossie is a contortionist yes if you guys don't know um but yeah what i can tell you every gymnast dancer ballerina anyone out there that does sports don't stop because your body will fail on you if you take a break, even if it's a month. Like her. Exhibit it. <laughs> All right, guys. So now we're going to try bridges and, and takeovers and backbends. Yeah. So we're going to do backbends from the back to lean and just regular backbend. So say, say two bends. So the backbend from here is what we're going to do. So you want to put your hands up, arch all the way back and try to touch the floor and then if you want to do a kick over you could just kick over which i can do a kick over look what? try again it's all right every time you do a kick over sophia what happened was you didn't strain your legs so the same thing i tell sophia and everyone else that takes my gymnastics class 
Every time you guys do a kick over, you have to straighten your legs. Try one more time. So, this is the same thing. And strain your legs. Much better. And that time you were able to kick over the first time. And now we can do a regular bridge from the floor. So basically, you can do two kinds of bridge from the floor. You can go into the table and then arch one hand all the way over. And with your hand in the front, and kick over. Or you can do the one where you go like this. You put your hands down right next to your ears. And you push all the way up. Way too. So, oh. stay, stay tuned for the next turn to do it. All right, guys, your dreams come true. You get to watch Coach Amanda do the skills. So, what am I doing first? Back bend? First, you're gonna do a back bend. Right. So, that's how you do a back bend. And now we're gonna, now she's gonna kick over. Now we're gonna do two more ways. This way is kind of one of the easier ways. You go into table. And then you arch one head back. And then you can kick over if you want. And then we're going to do the regular one from the floor. You put your feet over there. Put your hand next to your ears and push it up. And then you can kick over if you want or, or get up on. like that. So that concludes my babysitting gig with Sophia. If you guys want to see more gymnastics with Sophia and I, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit so the notification button and give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Bye.